Hello, I'm John Evans, and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thanks for being here. Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to the program. Quick announcement. We do now have Mid Mod Money merch, many kinds of designs. All I'm wearing the Pood Squad t-shirt. Pood Squad for the poodle collector in your life. First comment in this video will be a link to that, so support the show. Buy the merch. All right, we've got a great thrift store haul to you. And when I say great, uh, I went to a lot of mom and pop thrift stores. And uh, some people know that that means cheap prices, good prices, uh, and a lot of cool mid-century modern stuff. So let's jump into this thrift store haul on this Monday. Look at this. Cool dish bowl. Dish bowl, uh, it is a dish i'm gonna call it a dish a uh, great color these little cool feet it says uh it says usa uh right here i think usa stamped in the bottom i don't know if that's california pottery uh this could be i think it is california or, or uh, i don't think it's a gam gam project i think this was store-bought but uh it's uh it's got this cool amorphous shape this kind of kidney look to it, which is where uh, mid-century modern, you start getting into uh, this kind of shape instead of like rectangles and ovals. People started getting funky and creative, and this is a good example of that. Although it's not worth a ton, it's worth about $15. I paid three for it at Pick of the Litter thrift store, great thrift store here in Oakland, Maryland. And at the same store, Look at this gem. This is a beaut. This is a, I don't know, a snack thing. Metal. But look at the color. It's the holy trinity of 1960s color. Green, yellow, orange. Boom. And this was $7 at Pick of the Litter. $7. A little expensive. I'm not going to go crazy about this because I know... That minimum, this is $24 uh, in my booth. So 24 bucks off of seven, not bad. And it's in perfect condition. Even the bottom, the paint, normally there'd be paint loss from the years. Not this thing. This thing is really nice. So 24 off of seven. Now, the next thing I found, I was test driving an automobile with my fiance slash research guy slash clock guy, slash lamp guy, uh, and uh, she's buying a new car. So we were testing, test driving a car without the car salesman, and she went into the parking lot of a Goodwill store to check the panel, see if she could find all the, uh, the controls, the various things, the, uh, let's see, the air pressure. She wanted to see if she could find the lane assist and see how it all worked out, and she, and she goes into a parking lot and does all this parked at a Goodwill. And I said, uh, excuse me, but I'm going in. So I ran in there and I found two. Last week I found a frog piggy bank. This week I found two owl piggy banks. Also from Japan. They were taped together, unfortunately. Tape, packing tape. So I don't know why they insisted on selling them as a pair. I don't think banks go in pairs. I don't think life works that way. But these were taped together. As you can see, when I pulled the tape off, off came the paint. So note to self, always take a hair dryer to packing tape if it's on a collectible, if it's got paint on it, because it will rip the paint right off. Uh, these are worth almost 20 bucks a piece if they were mint. They are far from mint, but I'm still, I paid four bucks. Wasn't going to leave them there. The funny part was I ran back into the, into the dealership and I didn't want them to see that we had stuff from Goodwill. I didn't want them to think we were test driving a car just to go thrifting, you know, which is something I would do, uh, to come back with a, in a Chev, at a uh, Hyundai Kona with a dresser in the back of your test drive car but that's actually not a bad idea if you can't get a u-haul test drive a car you know move some furniture but these were four bucks each or four bucks for the pair next thing i found this awesome 
three well three footed tray. This was made by Joanne and John. How about that? Joanne and John, three ninety nine. This awesome color. Look, it's got the green and the brown, and it's pretty nice. 1970, it says on the bottom, somewhere over here. 1970. That makes it 54 years old. Are you kidding me? I paid $3.99 for it. Even with a tiny, tiny chip, tiny, it's still probably worth 20 bucks. 19, 20 bucks. Very happy with that because of the mid-century look. Next thing I found, opposite of mid-century. I'm not into frilly things. This is a biscuit jar hand painted. It's either Fenton or a company called David Lynch Glass. I can't, not the director David Lynch of Wild at Heart fame. This is a ginger jar or a biscuit jar. I'm inclined to say it's a biscuit jar because of the size, but it was $2.50 from Christian Crossing Thrift Store. Can you believe that? $2.50. These go between $35 to $50 in this kind of perfect condition. It's very fragile, very uh, frilly, not my thing, but it's important to recognize value in things that you don't like. You know, pay attention, and I just noticed it was hand-painted and probably took some time to do. Next thing I found, at the Salvation Army in Somerset, PA, Pood Squad. Who's with me? Pood Look at this portrait of a poodle cross-stitched with the profile and the a very serious poodle right there. This was $2. $2 at the Salvation Army. Oh my God. Something this old, this vintage, when poodles were popular. This is 60s, boy. And probably worth about $30. $27 $30 is what I'm going to put on this poodle cross-stitch. So adorable. And uh, I think that's almost it. No, I found... Took a hair dryer. This was taped. This Pyrex coffee pot was $4.50 at Highland Thrift. Four fifty dollars taped. I took the hair dryer to it, and it did not remove the gold. This is Pyrex. This is a coffee warmer. I guess you'd sit back and have a conversation while your coffee was warming by candlelight. I'm going to sell this for $22. Pyrex, Pyrex, always sells. And uh, very good to have in your booth. All right, we're down to our last item. And this is a great one. I saw this when I bought this at a Goodwill in Morgantown, West Virginia. I don't know why I don't go to Morgantown more often because it's only an hour away. But it's not on my way to anything. So I just got to go there and come back. But I saw this on a shelf. This fish. You see that? I just saw this in, in the with the bric-a-brac. The common bric-a-brac. This was $3.29. 3 dollars And I was like, huh, if, I'm, if my spidey senses have taught me anything, this could be a purse. And I open it up. And the first thing I see, confirmation. This is, in fact, a purse. But what I did also notice on the inside, and see if you can see this, Timmy Woods, Beverly Hills. These are handmade in the Philippines by a designer, Timmy Woods. And when you hear Beverly Hills, you know they grab your wallet. Because these are going to be expensive. And sure enough, on eBay, prices $79 to $150. So minimum, you know, $75, $80. Bucks. And it could be a little bit more than that, depending on the style. But this was $329. I don't think, I don't look at purses enough when I go to thrift stores. That's a statement that will surely come back to haunt me. Uh, someone will edit that into something crazy. Look. Let's not mince words. Three twenty nine off of uh, or a hundred dollars, seventy five dollars off of three twenty nine. Incredible! I spent twenty. I spent thirty dollars on everything. Thirty dollars twenty eight cents. When it's all said and done through eBay, my booths, I'm gonna make two hundred and thirty dollars off thirty bucks. 
$200 profit, and you can do it too. Keep watching my program, Mid Mod Money. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and don't forget, always round up.